In this video we continue with problem number 27. And this problem is very similar to the type to a type of problem that we solved in chapter 1 section 2. That was where we learned about multi-step equations and word problems that involve multi-step equations. But here we're going to have two of these multi-step equations and we're going to find out where they are equal to each other. And so we're going to set the two expressions equal to each other to see what value of the variable solves them both. So the instructions are write and solve an equation to find the month when you would pay the same total for each internet service. So let's take a look at company A there's an installation fee of $60. The installation fee of $60 is a one-time fee. It's not charged every month. And so I write one-time fee there. It's only assessed once when internet service is installed. The price per month, however, is a regularly recurring fee. And in this particular case, it recur, reoccurs every month. It's going to be charged every month. So for company A, we could write the equation. Company A, the, the fee for company A is going to be $60 plus $42.95 for every month. The fee for company B will be $25 for the installation fee and $49.95 per month. So company B charges less to install but more on a monthly recurring basis. Well, if we want to find out the month when we would pay the same total amount for each of the internet services, all we would do is set these two equations equal to each other. And we would do that by saying 60, I'll write them up here on the top, 60 plus 4295x is equal to 25 plus 4995x. I have an equation with variables on both sides. So this is another example of a problem that would result in an equation with variables on both sides. The way we go about solving this, same way we're going to solve all equations with variables on both sides, I'm going to subtract 4995x on the left. And on the right, then on the left side I have 60, and then what turns out to be minus, use your calculator, 4295 minus 4995, turns out to be 7x, or $7, 7 dollars, 7.00x, and on the right side is equal to 25. At this point, I subtract 60 on both sides minus 7x and I get negative 35. So you want to do that on your calculator. We divide both sides by negative 7 and we end up with x being equal to 5. And So we have to ask ourselves what does this 5 mean? It's when x is 5, x is the number of months. So at x equals 5 months the price for the two would be exactly the same. Now you should think about this. Prior to five months, which of the two companies has the cheaper fee? And after five months, which of the two companies has the cheaper fee? And we're going to be able to tell this by looking at the installation fee and the monthly 
price. Well, for company A, the installation fee is higher, but the monthly price is lower by $7 a month. So the installation fee is higher by $35. So what's going to happen is that every month we're going to save $7. And the longer we use that service, the more substantial the savings will become. So at the beginning, let's just say this, for the first four months, For the first four months, company B is cheaper and after, comma, but after five months, company a will be cheaper. So we want to be able to look at the values, both the one-time fees and the recurring fees, and see if we can tell which one will be cheaper in the short run and which one will be cheaper in the long run. And this is a type of problem that we will be coming back to again and again. It is a very important type of problem in this section along with the motion problems. All right, I'm going to scroll down and go on to the next example in this video. And this problem says, one serving of granola provides you 4% of the protein you need daily. You must get the remaining 48 grams of protein from other sources. How many grams of protein do you need daily? So one serving of granola is equal to 4% of your daily requirement for protein. That means that there's still 96%. So the way we're going to state this problem, and you have to be very careful here, since 4% one serving, then that means there's still 96% of, we call this the recommended daily allowance of protein. Is the remaining 48 grams. So 4% is in one serving of granola, but there is still 48 grams left, and that 48 grams is equivalent to 96% of your recommended daily allowance, or what you require daily, what you need daily. So we're trying to find out how much you need daily, and we're going to call that x. So our equation here, we're going to use 0.96 instead of 96%. 0.96 of the daily recommended amount is equal to that missing 48 grams. And at this point we can see we would just divide both sides by 0.96 and when we do that we get that x is equal to 50. So what does that mean? There are 50 grams. We should be taking in 50 grams of protein daily. So 4% of our daily requirement shows up in one serving of granola. But we still need to get 96% of our protein which is equivalent to 48 grams of protein. And so that's the real equation here. 96% of your daily protein is equal to 48 grams. All right, so this is a percentage problem. It doesn't issue in, a, in an equation with variables on both sides, but this is a very important type of problem that uh, we're going to work with and that people work with all the time in their lives. These are percentage 
problems. So we'll stop this video here and go on to the next problems in the next video.